Some beautiful paths can't be discovered without getting lost, Errol Ozan. And that pretty much summarizes my communication style. As I got lost a lot when I was younger, I didn't really have resources like this YouTube channel to rely on to figure out how do I find my style of public speaking so that I can share my ideas uniquely to the world, which is exactly why in this week's episode, we're going to be covering my own communication style and I'll also weave in some principles on how you can find yours too. Hi everyone, Brent here from Mass Talk on your go-to channel to mastering your talk. And today we're talking style. So let's get into it. Number one, understand every style of communication well. To begin this journey, which is exactly what I did, even if I didn't have specific resources for communication, like the channel that you're watching now, I would watch other public speakers speak on YouTube. So every time I would have lunch, I would watch a different TED Talk. And every time I would watch a new speaker, I would learn something new about their style. One person was more quirky, another one was more sarcastic, another one was bottom line depressive, right? Everyone had their own style, their own way of sharing their ideas. And over time, I would gain a little bit from each of them until I became a jack of all trades. So the simple question for all of you, yet powerful, is how many talks have you watched? How much time have you actually spent studying other speakers? It's so simple, yet nobody does it. So I encourage you to put it on your calendar. As my high performance coach tells me all the time, if it's not on the calendar, it's not going to happen. Invest 30 minutes of your life every week just to watch somebody else talk. One week it could be Brene Brown, another week it could be Marissa Peer, another week it could be Bill Gates or Tony Robbins. Spend that time and you'll learn more styles and figure out the ones that gravitate the most towards you and your way of speaking and being in the world. Which brings me to number two, the crazy inspiring man of the people. That sentence took me years to craft. And here's how you do it. Every time you listen to a new speaker, you want to journal and reflect what you like about that speaker and what you don't. So I'll give you an example. Every time I would see very intellectual, very posh, very well put together, though my suit is really nice, I must say, when they communicate their ideas, they're usually very professional. They have PhDs, fancy degrees from Harvard or Stanford. I knew that a cornerstone of my brand was going to be relatable. I want people to come up to me and talk to me when they see me in the public. And that was important to my brand, so I wrote it down on a piece of paper. And then another piece that I wrote down was creating that premium feeling whenever they visit my channel or pay attention to me or buy my services or around me, I really want that sense of premium as well. That's why I like the suit environment. I like wearing a suit when I present. And that is also a persona that I want in my style. So the idea is communication style is a combination of many different little qualities that you want in yourself and how you express yourself to other people. And the best way to do that is simple. Go to different speakers and go, I want that small piece, I don't want that. I want this, I don't want that. Kind of like when you make a sandwich and then over time, you figure out the exact toppings that create your perfect burger. And that's the way you need to think about communication style. In the same way mine is crazy inspiring men of the people. I'm like that weird uncle at a party who's always yelling at people, but that you kind of relate to. And that's the brand that I'm intentionally, big word on intention, intentionally creating and communicating out to the world. And that's how intentional you need to be with your brand as well. Number three, understand who you're inspired by and why. To conclude this video, I wanted to talk about some speakers that inspire me so you can see exactly how I apply all of the advice that I shared earlier in the video to my own way of communication. So for me, those three main speakers that I take most of my energy, most of my inspiration from are Gary Vaynerchuk, 
Seth Godin, and Scott Harrison. So let's go through all three of these individuals. Let's start with Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary's the CEO of VaynerMedia. He has a massive personal brand and is a very powerful thought leader in the ideas of marketing, branding, and motivation. And the biggest takeaway I got from Gary V's communication style that I desperately wanted in my own way of conveying ideas is one word, relatability. Gary has a fascinating way of relating to the seven-year-old girl who's watching his TikTok videos as much as the seven-year-old man who's talking to him at a football game. He's able to get both of those individuals to fall in love with him. So for me, gaining Gary Vaynerchuk's relatability is really important. The second piece is Seth Godin. Seth has always been an inspiration to me. And I would say the biggest way that I got inspiration from him was being bold with your ideas. I mean, think about the books that he's written, Lynchpin, Purple Cow, Tribes, what kind of bizarro titles are that? He's not afraid to speak his truth. And I also love the way that he packages his ideas. He's a very deep intellectual. So I wanted Gary's relatability, but I also wanted to go deep like Seth Godin does with his thoughts. And finally, Scott Harrison, have a big mission behind your ideas. Being the CEO of Charity Water, his goal whenever he speaks, when he conveys a message on a podcast or on a video, it's really about raising money for people who need it the most helping people gain access to water, which means it's high stakes, kind of like the most competitive poker game on the planet. If you lose, you lose millions of dollars, but his game is even higher risk. If you lose, millions of people around the world don't get water to drink. And that pressure that he puts on himself to do well, I want for my own ideas. And that's why I'm the combination of all three of these speakers. So use that as inspiration to find the people who inspire you so you can develop your own unique style of speaking. The moral of the story is simple. Communication style is unique and it's entirely up to you. You need to put in the time, the homework, to study other communicators. People have came before you so that you can make the best decisions as to how you're showing up and who you want to be in this world. And you'll notice that even for me, it's still a journey. I still spend time studying other YouTubers other content creators, other speakers, so I can constantly refine my communication style until it's exactly who I want to be. And it's always a journey of self-discovery. So fall in love with that journey and you'll figure out how to share what you want to share with the world in a style that resonates with you and the people who need to hear the message. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to see more videos like this. And if you know one person who's having trouble finding their style, was a little bit lost, send them this video so that they'll be one step closer to mastering their unique essence. See you next time, everyone.